guys remember X, Rex. Work is winding down to the lazy part of the day now. Oh, really? Okay, that's Grant. That's what I like to hear. You're over the hump, past the hump track. That's good. Thanks, Feli. What do you want, Shepard? Uh, found something. I found this armor. Does it belong to you? Let me see. Yeah. This is it. Hard to believe my ancestors wore this piece of crap. But at least it's back where it belongs. Thanks, Shepard. I might be starting to like you after all. No problem. You getting soft on me, Rex? Hmm? Good old Rex. I do like Rex a lot. Magi is magic in Swedish? Oh, really? Okay. So, magic in Swedish, you just drop the C? That's it? Classes are done just debriefing with teacher. I report to holding a study hall period in case the student wants it. Oh, very nice. That sounds nice and chill. Went to get my ice cream. Uh, did you get ice cream? What'd you get, Felly? What'd you get? Did you get that Magnum that you were talking about? Let us romance Rex. <laughs> you want a romance Rex track? Really? Really? <laughs> you want to be the queen of uh, the uh, the Krogan? <laughs> queen Krogan track? Track the queen? Queen track? Does that make sense? <laughs> Get a proper walk for the earlier. Just sat on a bridge. Oh, not bad. Just dropping the sea. Could be both magic and magical as a description. Oh. Let us get our cheeks clapped by a... What? <laughs> Track? Uh... Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Oh no, we, 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 we know this information. Yeah, I've seen some. I bet you have. I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. Oh, what's the story? That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Hmm. Interesting. Rex just wants his wreck stuff? What is wreck stuff? He wants to wreck stuff? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what the Krogan is in general, isn't it? He represents the species. Magnum salted caramel, glazed almonds, what tastes like dark and milk combo chocolate. <gasps> My mouth just filled with saliva. <sighs> it's just one ice cream and man, it's good. Oh god. <laughs> Track, I see your grin. Your sinister, sinister grin. He wreck stuff. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts. See, now Trek has me, like, thinking what what an intimate encounter with Rex would be like. Stop it! We caught at my first Brain! Job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear-cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. Mm. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan? Oh, no. And I was just talking, no. <laughs> We can bone a Turian, why not a Krogan? What about the bone of a 
Where is where is this going, guys? We got to answer with this. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Ah, easy. You could buy 10 of those. 20 What's even. They're killing out there. <laughs> What'd you do about Clock out in 20 minutes, sir. I in some of yes. employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Track, I swear. Track, I see you. A track, I swear. I swear, track. I'm going to suicide you on purpose and kill you inside fucking Immortal Saga, I swear. <laughs> Fine, go lurk. I'll see you later. I love your face. <laughs> Uh, interviewing? You mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. The heck? I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Saliard's employees. They were test tubes. Wow. Okay. He's like growing organs, or organs inside people's bodies? As... Ugh. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Wow. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in. Ugh. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. Damn. <sighs> I just like to play with words, don't mind me. I, 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 I do mind you. Keep playing with words. I love it. That's the worst part. Words are the best. Never caught him. Never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. Damn. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway just use them to make more organs they wouldn't listen hmm I don't agree with them there in that situation necessarily but I probably lean to their side but I like Karis well you can't get them all no but letting him get away like that all they had to do was disable that ship stop him from running Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I like Garrus too much to not agree with him. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. Dr. Hart. Joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Let's do this. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Oh, heck yeah. We're gonna murder his ass. Um... Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, 
I get the hell out of Dodge. Dodge. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Of course. I keep an open door policy. Wings. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. How are you doing, Wings? What you up to? All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance Chief, but they're allies, at least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't want to marry her. Look, she's, she's like speciesist against all these aliens. That's not right. I don't like that. The command's not working. The, the command n never existed, did it, Billy? <laughs> You're exercising. Oh, what type of exercises are you doing, Minx? You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We... humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us mm, middle of the road I think after an insane day of work stationary cycling oh that's nice I wouldn't mind a, a that cycle thing like that look if you're fighting especially bear, with this situation the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run you'll do it as much as you love your dog it isn't human it's not racism not really members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are she said it, not me. I don't care what Ashley says, what's the point? <laughs> you just want to use her like a piece of meat, Belly. How dare you? <laughs> you just want to throw her around like a piece of meat, huh? Huh? Use over 30 minutes after work on Monday through Friday. That's a really good, good thing to do, Wings. Um, I wouldn't mind one of those machines, personally, because... I can't go out and I can't do what I do like running and stuff like that that I used to do because of my situation and it's really annoying so I'd love so like a machine like that I'm kind of jealous of you Wings <laughs> I think she cares what comes out of her mouth either wow these seem like deeply held wow, beliefs Feli. Williams what made you think this way my family's defended the alliance since it was founded my father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Um... I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell her to shut up, but I'm not going to say I understand. I'm going to say, you know, listen, okay, you have to... You just have to do this and, like, try and understand. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams, but this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. Does Feli want to be a Turian now? I bet she does. If she did, she wouldn't say rude things. Right? <laughs> Thanks. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Commander. <laughs> Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. She's doing a little better. Uh, let's have a quick chat with uh, Best Girl. In case you didn't know, Best Girl is um, uh, this one. Shepherd, you know why I'm I think she's here. best girl? It's not because she's completely covered from head to toe and you don't see any skin, okay? I swear. I swear that's not the reason, okay? I promise. <laughs> hey, Nathan! 12 hours? No, it's only been 8 hours so far. How you doing, Nathan? Welcome back. Have you been working hard today? 
long day for you female alpha female alpha <laughs> I'm doing grand Nathan oh you're just winding down Slayer yeah are you actually gonna get some proper sleep tonight do you think Slay hmm? 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 <laughs> get raided oh Hannah raid me hey raided me Nathan Woohoo! Hi! Woohoo! One, one, two, one! Woohoo! <laughs> I love your name! I don't know why, it's just great. <laughs> Woohoo! How are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Hannah the camp? Yeah, she is a bit camp. Uh, did you feel better? Yeah. Good to see you smiling again. We gotta flirt with her, even if we can't get with her. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Hmm. I don't know. No, she doesn't have much to so talk to at, at the moment. Talk about. See you later. I better. I have a noon phone call. Oh God, yes, yeah, Lay. You better get sleep. Just shut off all technology, Slay, I swear. It really works. Shut off all your technology. Make sure they're all shut off and plugged out. Your phone. Put it on silent. No, 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 don't, don't put it on silent. You probably would need it active. But keep it away from you. <laughs> keep it away. It works. I'm telling you, this works. Of how he reads my mistakes. I love reading your mistakes, Nathan. It's my favorite thing to see everyone fail. <laughs> Who needs sleep? I mean, I wish I didn't need sleep, honestly. Giving a good example right now? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> you gotta flirt with her? Sure, where's Hannah? <laughs> she wants to flirt with uh, Garrus, so that's different. Okay, we're gonna move on. Because we had those quests to deal with. Now we can move on and see if we can do a little bit more exploring. And then we might try and do a main mission. What is this madness? <laughs> I'm telling you. You should do it. Uh, we checked all the planets, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did, right? It's true, he does. I do like doing that. I'm practically a cyborg apart from the implants. Oh no. Okay, we need to go to the Voyager cluster. Back to the Voyager cluster. Uh, we've done the Armstrong Nebula. We haven't done the upper portion here. So let's go to Voyager cluster. There was something that we had. Oh, here it is. Columbia, right? I don't think we've been here. I'd have to think very hard about implantable technology and augmentation. Have you ever played Deus Ex, Asley? Have any, have any of you guys played Deus Ex? They were, they... They have really good philosophical, kind of moral type of debates and interesting commentary on like implantation and augmentation. I think, you know, there's some good, there's some good discussion there, you know? It, Deus Ex is one of my favorite games of all time as well. That's my top 20. You mean surgeries? Not the Botox? Well, Botox is yeah, a form of uh, augmentation, I guess, isn't it? Isn't that right? Woohoo. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I couldn't help that, sorry. What? What? Why did I do that? Debatable games? Games that make you think, you know? I love that. Most of my favorite games ever are games that will make you think. Most of them. Not all of them, but. Persona 5. Makes you think a lot. Now, 
properly and may have to. Oh yeah, it's I'm telling you. Just the first Deus Ex, the really old one. Try and get mods to make it look better, that's that that'll do. And oh my god. Okay, Neferon. This is, must be where the Cerberus base is. Whew. Do you have proper augmentation to remain badass? Yeah. Augmentation with the sunglasses too. You got a permanent sunglasses. Like like that's probably what would happen to me, right? And actually probably be against my will, because that's what everyone wants. <laughs> Almost all RPGs. ARPG games? Action RPG games? Specifically? That was a mistake, was it? Okay, the, to the store! Okay, Zara, get get your food and get ready for some guild wars. Nanites or technology? Augmentation. That's right, that's right. They would be, wouldn't they? Alright, uh, yeah, that's fine. Don't look at the sun? Why? <laughs> but it looks cool. The sun looks cool. Oh god, it's sax. In your about section, it says it needs to say Britney karaoke enthusiast. <laughs> no! I know like two Britney songs. Sax, that's hardly enthusiast. Hmm? <laughs> Tooth decay technology, like in like technology that gives you tooth decay. <laughs> the insane tech which just kills tooth decay and easily removes teeth with no problem. Oh, that's cool. Is that real, or is it like uh, sci-fi? Tech for blood clot removal. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Medical technology. Yeah. The augmentation that that's really good for medical purposes. Cyborg guy, then Barrett's arm. Oh my god, Barrett's arm. A gun arm. I'm not sure a gun arm is is the best solution, but uh, you know, a normal arm <laughs> that's made of robotics. Uh, 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 uh. Rare element. Oh, I didn't need that. Uh, where are we? Okay, we need to go south. We're looking for heavy metals. There is tech for blood cut removal. Been shown many times on Facebook. Like I would look at Facebook. <laughs> Which country? You wouldn't be surprised me if it's Japan, actually. Yeah. Japan's the type of country that has crazy people, crazy scientists like that. That sounds really cool, though. I hope it's something like that they implement. In, a, in our modern lives. Because blood clots are feckin' lethal. They cause strokes and other things that kill. Japan is the most advanced technology in the world, country in the world. I thought it'd be the US, but yeah, tech Japan is pretty good at that. I'm not sure how if they are the most. Whoa! I did a flip! Barrel roll. The studies and tech equipment they have invented and built. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 that makes sense to me, Nathan. Yeah, you're you're educating me right now. It does make sense. They have great have great thinkers in Japan. With great 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 minds. I love them. I love Japan. I want to go to Japan. Can I move to Japan permanently? I'd live there. I'd live in Japan. I really would. For once, I know, right? First time ever, Nathan. First time for everything. You can't always be my dum dum. <laughs> Not smooth brain anymore. <laughs> oh, I fell in the hole. It's so damn expensive. Yeah, Japan. I've heard, yeah, it's expensive. True, yeah. <laughs> Finally, found something. But this game reminds you of Halo. Everyone keeps saying that whenever I'm in the Mako. Because it looks like a warthog. It's very not like Halo. But I guess there are some influences, I guess, in some parts. 
very minor influences. Oh, it's a mummified Solarian. ID tag, okay. Yeah, um, I'm not sure, I can't remember, somebody was saying earlier that uh, Mass Effect it came out shortly after Halo first came out. But, you know. uh, how do I get back up here? Let me go down there. Oh god! We'll go down there, so we'll go down to that one after this one. This way first. Oh god. Oh, you need bed. Yes, that's right. You're like two hours ahead of me, aren't you? So yeah, it'd be super late for you. Go to bed, Nathan. I love your face, okay? Oh god, there's the creature! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's on my ass. It's on my ass. It's on my ass. Got me. Oh no, repair. Repairs, repairs. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Uh. Oh no, I hit the thing! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh crap, it hit me! I don't want to die. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, run! Run! Okay, we're, we're okay. So close to death, we almost have him, we almost have him. It's trying hard to get me. It's trying hard. Ah. Uh -oh. No. Die! Oh boy. That was, uh, that was a fight. Insurance on Mac must have ages. <laughs> Thanks, Densi. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> oh god, Slay, yeah, that was an intense one, because, uh, he kept catching me. I suppose there's nothing here. I don't see anything. Right. Yeah, that was all for the uh, the treasure. So let's go up this way. Yeah, up, and then we need to go to the right, and then there's a base over here. Here, here we go. I think this is Cerberus. This must be the Cerberus base. Got you. I don't see where they are. Where is it? Are they hiding? Ah! Server sniper. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's take out the server scum.
so do a quick save. Let's save. Moon rotate save. Where is it? Confused. You must Whoa. Get down, get down. Ooh. Oh, did you s Oh god. Oh god, oh god, he's right beside me. Get, get away, go away. Go away, go away. Ah! Back off! Ah, ah, ah. deployed. We're alright, we're alright. Let's come around this side. No, you don't. How dare you? Got you, got you. Damn Cerberus. Oh, down. shite. You must die. I'm only just knowing now, did you change the color of Tali's hood? Um, yeah, yeah, new armor. New armor changes uh, colors and stuff. I swear to God, I can't shoot from here. You're standing right in the way. No. Okay, got you. Two more. Aha! Hello. There we go. Beautiful. Man, they're tough. The chargers are the worst. Think your health didn't regen fully in the OG without using med kits? Um, I have a regen add-on, like regen upgrade, health regen upgrade. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what you're noticing. Mm. Cautiously press a few buttons and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your hard suit's internal computer. It's memory wiped. Computer shuts down. The files are sure to be encrypted. But you've got time to crack them. I see. So we lost the data. We lost some data. We didn't have enough time to get everything. Let's uh, check the journal. What's it say? Uh, oh, I should go to the Citadel too. See if the fan is there. Moon. Cars told you a Dr. Salion. Into the coordinates. Okay. It looks like that quest is over. Yes. Oh. Oh, crap. I'm already running out of space. I know what I'm doing off stream. Figuring out my space issue. Too many upgrade mods. So much loot in this game, though. I 
Like, look at all the stoop they're giving me. It's crazy. Metagel is good, but all that. Like, I just got like about 15 months in this one building. with the server space. I suppose we'll probably get contacted by Admiral Hackett about it, maybe. No. Alright, where have we not looked at? Oh, there's just the one place down south there. Can we go... this way? Thanks for the hugs, Feli. Hug everyone. Can't live without Feli hugs, I really can't. Feli hugs are life. Hugs, that's right. That's right, woohoo. Did you take a break at tea? I sure did, Feli, I sure did. Yeah. I always take a break when I'm going along like this. Going a going a trip in our favorite rocket ship. What's what song is that? What song is that sax? That sounds like a song. What is it? Tell me, tell me. Is it another 90s pop pop song? Or is it something looter? Oh crap. Wrong button. Oh god, what's wrong with me? you have kids little ones I do have kids but maybe it's not in this country or maybe it's on a specific a specific place transmission coming in oh. commander I think you're gonna want to hear this one here he is greetings commander Shepard I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities hmm who are you and who do you represent who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. Oh. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Hmm. Kind of feels like you didn't when I wasn't here at the start. <laughs> Well, it's okay. You weren't here at the start, Philly, because, you know, you and Amari abandoned me, you know, so, psh, you know. Little Einsteins? I have no idea about Little Einsteins. Peppa Pig? Yeah. Peppa Pig is a thing. Peppa Pig is very popular. <laughs> Rude ass little pig always in people's business, but she loves muddy puddles. We left you on purpose. On mod. <laughs> Naki. Is that how you pronounce it? Pronounce it? Naki? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That's a bit that's a bit out of my wheelhouse. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kahoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. Well... You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. Hmm. Didn't have been you. They were shrunk into felly size. Abandoned, Slay. I got abandoned and I will forever throw that in their faces for abandoning me. <laughs> C 
see them dresses, you know how hard it is to get mud out. Be wrong. I'll raise my kids on Marvel strictly. <laughs> they will know the theoretical dangers by age. Really? <laughs> I want to see you do this. Do you have any kids yet, Sax? Do it. Go make a kid right now. <laughs> Separation anxiety and he will have to talk about it in therapy in 10 years. That's how severe this issue is. Drop the kappa and it's correct. <laughs> What's in it for me? Your deal died with Kahoku. Why should I help you? The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us, and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. You have zero kids? But I know... But I know when I do. Are you sure you have zero kids, Sax? Are you sure? <laughs> You build them to be assassins. <laughs> Army of assassins. Sex assassins. You mean Han plus one can play that game and show them? Yes, let's do it, Slay. Yeah. I agree with this. I mean, soldiers. I know it. Sex assassins. <gasps> That's beautiful, Sex. Sex assassins. Did I finally beat Tales of the Tia? <gasps> Cerulean, you did it. Congratulations! Congratulations! Next, now you, now you can go have a rest and come back and do Berseria and enjoy the feck out of that. <laughs> no, I have zero kids, but there is no question to that. <laughs> Are you sure? You never know. You never know. <laughs> Anything could happen. I'm calling my team that. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad to be the inspiration behind that in some form. Have an amazing Mr. Stream. All right, Death Logic, Mr. Logic. Thank you so much for hanging out. I love your face. You go have fun and do what you're doing. Hugs. Will I make the deal? You know what? I may as well. It's not really Renegade, is it? I'll transmit the files. I knew you were a reasonable woman, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. All right. We're finished with Voyager. Okay, I want to go back to the Citadel real quick. I want to see if the fan is there. See if he's, he wants more stuff off me. He give me more attention. I need the attention. I need my fans to be groveling at my feet. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't feel good about myself. <laughs> I have never, not once, not ever had sexual relations with a woman. No kids. You don't need to have sexual relations with a woman to have kids. Mm. <laughs> Return of beer. Yes, sir. Beer it up. It's time for the evening. I know the feeling I always expected to end up living alone with a dog by my side or something. It was until I realized I like guys too, but still. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's go to Citadel. I want to see if my fan is there. My fan is very important to me. Let's take a look at Alicia. DLC. Hope it doesn't take too long, but not too short either. The Alicia DLC? I don't remember. I don't remember that. It's probably not important. But take a look at it. Yeah. Tell me what that's like. I can't remember what it is. Equalizing interior pressure. It's been a while since biology class, atmosphere. but I'm pretty sure that that is Blood. how it works. The commanding officer is ashore. You know, Exo Presley has the deck. What if, you know, some of, you know, parts 
of things were obtained from you and done things with. That's as vague as I'll make it. <laughs> After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that She's its research ever. colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort. Turn from the fridge with hard cider. Nice, Exogeny. nice wings. Exogeny that sounds awesome. Rose sharply with the announcement. Cheers. Investors pleased at this surprising news. Because after the main story. Yeah, I think I have a vague memory of it, Cerulean. It's been a while. Oh, look. What's going on here? I don't know. Nothing? Oh, damn. Thought it might have been something. That sucks. All right, let's go to... Markets? Markets? Pretty much compromised the people in the game who are obsessed about the events. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you barely get to use her. 99.9999% sure that has never happened. There's still that tiny, tiny percent that says it might have happened. <laughs> hey, there's my fan. All right. A commander, I've been waiting. For I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. Go ahead. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Oh my god. I can bust out this last level so I can use my skimmer. All right. Nice one, sir. That red gun you have? Oh, you like it? It's good. It's a good gun. The chance, the 1 the 0.01% chance. Yes. Yes. It's it exists. It exists, sir. It exists. <laughs> The one time you were blackout drunk, right? <laughs> uh, what? Why would you want to be a specter, Conrad? Because I wanted to show the council what humanity can do, just like you. I'd make a great specter. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups, but I'd never let you down. Oh my God, you can make him, oh my God. You can play with his heart. I'm not that cruel. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. I need people at home. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. Good boy, Conrad. Good boy. Give me that Paragon point. Alright. Was there anyone else I wanted to talk to? I'm not sure there was. Let's go back to CSEC for the moment. Nothing is ever 100% correct. Good luck at any out of me when I'm black drunk. Black out drunk. Let's just say the pipe stops working. <laughs> well, you know, there are other ways rather than through the pipe. I, uh. Oh, 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 God, oh, God, we have. It's a raid! It's Tremian! Trem, your legend. <gasps> you were playing Mass Effect 2. Trem, welcome in, Raiders. How are you all doing? Welcome, welcome. You bunch of Jack Frost stampling he whores. How are you doing? Have no fear, Raid is here. Annie Versace, hello, welcome in. Thanks, you, thank you for coming in with the raid. Trem, how did you get on? How's your Mass Effect? Is it, is it your first time doing Mass Effect? I don't think I've talked to you about Mass Effect yet. Um, is that your first time doing Mass Effect ever? Or are you replaying like because you played the old ones? What's what's your what's your sister situation? And how far are you in? 
because I don't want to spoil you too. <laughs> Do a quick, uh, quick save here. How I my oh, I should introduce myself, Trem, my friend. Welcome in all you to all you raiders. I'm Crag or Kragen, whichever you like. I play a lot of RPGs. I love Mass Effect. I love Final Fantasy. I love Persona. I love those types of games. I love story games. Doing good, thank you. No one, no, I played the old ones a lot. Okay. This one is my favorite games of all time. Oh, really? Which So which one do you like the most? Do you like the first one the most? Mass Effect 1? You just saved Liara from the mine. Ah, right. Okay. So I'm a little bit ahead of you. So I, And you know the games anyway, so it's not spoils. Pink hair. Yes. Yes. Anniverse. I always do pink hair when I have characters I can create. I always try and do pink hair. So this is my pink hair femship. Crack those horror games. I don't love horror games. <laughs> I love Bloodborne though. Although some debate that's a horror game. <laughs> and I like Resident Evil, but that's more survival horror puzzly action. So one, two, three, all of it. Oh, really? All of it? All of it? Like every one of them? What about the ending? Do you have a problem with the ending in three? People have problems with that ending. Are you one of those people? That's a lot of triangles. Person of interest, seasick as investigating a woman named Helena Blake. There is no hard evidence against her, but if these reports are correct, she's powerful criminal elements in the Citadel. She was last seen near the Emporium in the Presidium. <sighs> we have a quest on the Citadel. This is interesting. Luigi NYC TV, hello! And welcome in. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hello, Commander. Nothing there. Okay. Let's talk to Chalik. Maybe he has something for me. Andromeda, Andromeda, okay, yeah. Andromeda wasn't really for me either, I don't think. I wasn't really connecting with that one. For any minor to not listen to me. Never listen to Feli. <laughs> no. Everybody, okay, right. This this is how I really feel, right? Everybody must love Feli comes in here. Otherwise, there will be consequences. <laughs> had it really had but after the extended cut I accepted it ah oh, okay is it mentioned things I was angry to just that just left out ah right okay I see what you mean now with that we won't we won't Alliance mention exactly what it was but yes I, I get you I get you trip but are you enjoying the uh, the legendary edition so far are you liking the changes they've made the Alliance plans and to the updates. Security it looks so good, area. doesn't it? It looks so good. Look at Tally. Look, this is the dream. This is my dream team, by the way. Trim. What's your dream team? Who are your characters? How's ME so far? It's fantastic. Are you an ME fan, Luigi? Do you like ME? ME? I keep calling it ME. Mass Effect. Let's talk about hey, it. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? Uh... I have to no. go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Let's go into... Kor's Den, maybe? Maybe there's somebody in there. But we need to go to the Presidium anyway, don't we? Is this way to the Presidium? Need to get used to the Maka controls? Oh... Man, if you were here earlier, Trim, a couple of hours ago, I was like, <laughs> I was raging at the Mac, <laughs> trying to get up mountains and stuff. Evaluator, elevator music, yes. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, Luigi, have you played them all? What, what like, who are your favorite? Which, your, which is your favorite Mass Effect, and who are your favorite characters? Tally is pretty much my favorite character. But I also love, like, um, Garrus and... I'm really big on Jack, actually. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions. Tally and Rex? Oh, really? Under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. You're liking the remaster so far? Tally Bay. Garrus Rex. Ah. 
Witty! Good morning! Is it work time? It's good to see you in the in the evening and the morning. Did you have a good sleep? My favorite character is Craig's. <laughs> Thanks, Feli. I think she's amazing. <laughs> and she's Shepard is a great character though. You know, we tend to exclude Shepard a lot, but where is this person? Does it show on the map? They said they were on the Presidium. Excuse me. Let's have a run around and look. Play through them. Most favorite characters would have, would be Grunt. Ah, oh, I don't hear about Grunt a lot, actually. Not many people pick Grunt. Grunt is pretty cool. Steve Bloom. Yeah. I have to, I can't wait to see him again. I've, com I've almost completely forgotten about him, to be perfectly honest. So I'm looking forward to meeting him again. For the first time, almost. For you at least, right. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's what's his name? Who's the Salarian? In Mass Effect 2 and 3, he's pretty good too. Right, maybe check the embassies. That's Tally. Just in case. Avina. Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? No. I oh, Luigi, thank now. you so much for that Have follow. I really day. appreciate that. It's good to meet more Mass Effect fans. Uh, person of interest. Elena Blake. Seems like report mentioned you know, Stasi near the Emporium. Financial district. Okay, she's in the financial district. Let's go over there. No problem. Thanks, thanks, Luigi. Too kind. Boom. Morden, that's him. That's the guy. That's the Salarian. He's awesome. I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell oh. me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. All right, we got an arguing couple. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Can I help with anything? I'm getting near flashbacks Perhaps already. You could talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> My sister-in-law here sister is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Refused to let the baby go undergo gene therapy? Why does she need gene therapy? I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And Extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. Hmm. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Hmm. This is interesting. I need to know more information about this genetic therapy. You're gonna lurk, lurk away, Trem. Yeah, that's right. You go get some food. I'm sure you're f hungry after your stream. Go get some food, lurk, do whatever you like. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it, dude. You're awesome. Okay, so anyone, anyone here who isn't following Trem, please go follow the Trem, the Tremian. He's an amazing, dude. Always been cool. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't know. Never played Mass Effect. Well, you should know. Wings, get on it. <laughs> He's raising his voice too much? He is kind of, isn't he? Dangers of therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. Really? Extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. Hmm. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? 
According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. Hmm. She says 1 in 50 chance. So there's 1 in 100 chance of... Of, like harming the child one in 300 chance harming the child with genetic therapy but it like could be like obviously it's probably something like severe enough to disable them for the rest of their lives or even kill them or there's a one in 50 chance of developing a rare heart condition that will kill them later in life more likely they'll get the heart condition. Damn these choices! <laughs> Refuse, I'd say let her choose. I mean, that seems the more logical thing to do, I think. Um, I'd say it would be different if it was her husband arguing, but it's not. Because he's technically not that linked to the child that we're talking about, you know? So I'm thinking it's probably more her choice. I think it would probably lean, lean on her. Game cry! How are you? My mass is hugely effective today. It's so hugely effective. There's so much mass. It's incredible. Game cry. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> How are you getting on? What you been up to? He's not the father of the child, yeah. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. It's still her choice, yeah. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Listen to what he said, yeah. Act like it. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Man, so what a sad situation. Damn it. These got Paragon points. Thank you for the Paragon points for that sad situation. Um, let's see if we can find this person that we're still looking for. Uh, uh. Child, is the child royalty or something? No? Oh, there she is. Oh, uh, this. A moment, Inspector. Oh, you recognize me instantly. Glad to hear it. Still getting through the workday. Need to pop by. Oh, no problem. Cool. Oh, you do you much work left, Game Boy? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How do you know me? How did you know I'm a specter? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Hmm. Are they really crime bosses? Or are you making me assassinate random people you don't like? What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. It sounds like a setup. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. 
What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. Mm. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. It sounds like a setup. Like an hour and a half? I'll make it. You'll make it! I know you will make it hot! <laughs> Doing the galaxy a favor. <laughs> I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Hmm. This should be interesting. That gives me Renegade? Why? I wanted to set her up. Dead. Um, damn it. What's my, uh... I have a lot of power gone, so I'm good. I'll be fine. Can't increase my charm. Alrighty. I think... It's time to leave... The Citadel. Oh, rapid transport. There we go. Back to CSEC. Totally a business power play? Yeah, probably. Wait, why does it say Flux Nightclub? I'm not there. All right. Have increases in Citadel traffic endangered our safety? Emily Wong offers an inside look at the dangerous world of space traffic control. Alrighty. Let's see if we can... Maybe Stand do... Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in Quest... Program. Questicles. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Questicle Exo time. Stands relieved. Time for some questicles. Oh, I should have looked at my journal. Well, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Local cluster. Kelper Verge. What's here? We have Newton. Herschel. Let's go to Herschel. Can we skip this? No. Questicles. Yeah. Doing Red Sands is a narcotic. Red Sands is the name of a group, I think. Yeah. Like a criminal group. Yeah. But yeah, questicles. Questicles are, are the things that we love. We love questicles. We love to have a good time with questicles. They make, make everything better. Klobaka. Tungel. Matol. Three more. Clue gone. Hmm, no surveys. The Fidel. Uh, cargo ship. All right, let's board it. Let's go, Dream Team. 
Boom. I'm ready. There's enemies here. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Who's the enemy? Who's the enemy? <gasps> Test subjects? Crap. Oh god, they're coming. There's one coming here. Come on, where are you? I see you. I see you. Oh my god, they just run in circles. Ah! You don't know when they're gonna come. Okay, we got one left. Where are you, dude? Hello? Take that. Boom. Naki is pretty tasty. Well, these pretzels are making me thirsty. So you don't get that reference. <laughs> They run? I know, right? They run around going... <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. You! Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. I'm gonna get Garrus to take him out. Garrus, let's do this. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! It's all over! That was... satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. And we wouldn't stained with the blood of many species, pale blue, violet orange, violet orange, and more than a few dark red, but his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. Heck yeah, you deserve that, yeah. Testing on everyone. Crazy person. Alright. I mean, pretzels are great, but I have to... I have to eat the unsalted variety. That's not my joke. That's not, stop burning my joke. <laughs> hmm. Any more loot? cockpit with nothing in it dang all right we're done we got Salion. garris should be happy we gotta make uh our boy happy what a twist i put in your joke yeah feck Back your twist. <laughs> All right, what's next? We have finished with the Herschel system. Let's go up to the Newton system. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. 
Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Oh boy. I can help. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? We found a connection between the scientists and you. Huh. They all worked on a classified project several years ago on a coos. A coos? This can't have anything to do with what happened to me on a coos. Those Thresher Maws killed dozens of soldiers. If this was more than just an accident, we need to know. Commander, Shepard, what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Hmm. This galaxy is kind of bright. Yeah, I'm looking at the sun a lot. I suppose. I suppose I shouldn't look at directly at the sun without glasses on. Love you too, Wings. <laughs> gas. I got gas. Antaram. I suppose that's where I have to go. Clin Cory. Matriarch writings, nice. On to Ram. Let's go. This looks mountainous. I don't like it already. Looks too mountainous for my my tastes. Is that a thunder storm? Insignia. I finished all the insignias? Maybe that's it. I'm gonna take off these glasses actually. Whoa, whoa. No, wrong way. No. Yeah, look at the thunderstorm. It looks pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool. Hmm. Which way am I going? Uh, guess this way-ish. We got salvage probe. Thick. There we go. Frictionless materials. Ooh, we got some level eight stuff. 
Ooh, what's over here? Enemies. Ooh, we got a little base. Uh... I got someone. Uh... <clears throat> Whoa! Set everything flying. Boom! Do you like that? Entrance. What is in here? Is this another Cerberus base? Game Groy. What? What? What are you all owing about? Oh, that is that is Cerberus. Oh, level eight crap. Yes. Dead Cerberus? What does that mean? What is it? What is the danger? Oh. It's not good. Oh god. No. Using all my grenades on these guys. Take this! Got you! Ah, oh, there we go. Feels good. We got one left. Some guy hiding in the back. <coughs> Where is he? Hello. Oh, a sniper. Well. All right, we got lots of loot. I may run out of space, which ain't good. Everything getting exploded outside, right? I get that. Oh man, I saw nine. Has my container cell. Any other items around here? Oh. about to run out of space. Ooh, more dead ones. What's going on here? Stay Hello? Back. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't... Shepard? My god, Shepard, is that you? Toombs? Who's Toombs? Oh, he was in the coups, is he? Corporal Toombs? But... But I saw you die on the coups. I... How did you get here? They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. 
And a test. What did they do to you, Tombs? You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Commander Shepard was at a coup's. She knows the truth. This man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? It's not justice. You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coup, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Cool. Tomb stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You give the scientists a shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take it, take it from here. All right. Interesting. What else is there? There's just that survey area. Let's do that and then leave. <coughs> Heavy metal? I hope it's heavy metal. I need two. Yay, heavy metal. I need one more. I think. Yeah, one more heavy metal. One. Awesome. Rotate. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toombs seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. I hope this helped you find some peace, Commander. Thank you. Good fleet out. All right. Okay, that's Kepler Verge taken care of. Hawking Eta Eta. Did I go here already? I feel like I've been here. I think I have. Yeah, I think I've been into all the all the systems here now. Most of them anyway, all the main ones. All the unexplored ones. Is this a remaster or, or the original? This is the remaster, legendary. Dancing Cutie. All three games, all in one, all the DLCs, all re revamped and re upped and remixed to be new. Mecha some mechanics have been modified, things like that, and everything. Bugs fixed. Still bugs, of course. I was wondering how it looks so good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This is like a 15 year old game. Can you believe it? We're going home to the solid system. Let's go to Mercury. Good, good old Mercury. Now let's look at Venus. Don't, do you guys like space? I love space. Learning about the planets, I love that. Earth, Luna, skip those. Mars. Look at Mars, it's got a base on it. I think in this future, yes, there is a base on Mars. Nothing in the asteroid belt, okay. Let's go to Jupiter, which is after Mars. Jupiter, the biggest 
body in the solar system. Then we have Saturn with the rings. It looks super cool. Super cool planet. Then we have Uranus, or Uranus, as people like to say. It's got rings as well, but they're vertical. Neptune, which is an, a very interesting planet, very cold. And quite big, actually, for how far it is away. And then we have Pluto, which is technically not a planet. It's a planetoid. You do indeed. Yes, you do. Beyond this, we have the, the uh, Kuiper Belt, I believe. Um, so let's check Earth. Oh, we can't land on Earth. That sucks. <laughs> I wish you could. I, I remember wishing I could before as well. Uh, Luna. I believe there's a mission here. Is it DLC? Is there a mission? Is there Luna a DLC mission? I think I have it in my journal. Let me just check. Fermire, race gets done. What's this? Find the conduit. And that's Novaria. Something on Luna? Yeah, here, this is it. UNC Rogue, engage. Head to solid system, look closer and deal with the rogue, v rogue virtual intelligence that's on Earth's moon. That's right, that's what we have to do. 